And partial sum of the series, we're going from one to infinity, summing it up of a sub n is given by, and they tell us the formula for the for sum of the first n terms. And they say, write a rule for, the, for what the actual nth term is going to be. Now to help us with this, let me just create a little visualization here. So if I have a sub one plus a sub two plus a sub three, and I keep adding all the way to a sub n minus one plus a sub n, this whole thing, this whole thing that I just wrote out, that is s sub n. This whole thing is s, let me, this whole thing is s sub n, which is equal to n plus one over n plus 10. Now if I want to figure out a sub n, which is the goal of this exercise, well I could subtract out the sum of the first n minus one terms. So I could subtract out this. So that is s, that is s sub n minus one. And what would that be equal to? Well wherever we see an n, we'd replace it with an n minus one. So it'd be n minus one plus one over n minus one plus 10, which is equal to n over n plus nine. So if you subtract the red stuff from the blue stuff, all you're going to be left with is a thing that we want to solve for. You're going to be left with a sub n. So we could write down a sub n is equal to s sub n is equal to s sub n minus s sub n minus one. s sub n minus one. Or we could write that is equal to this stuff. So this is the n plus one over n plus 10 minus, minus n over n plus nine. And this by itself, this is a rule for a sub n, but we could combine these terms, add these two fractions together. And this is actually going to be the case for n greater than one. For n equals one, s sub one is going to be, well you can just, the a sub one is going to be equal to s sub one, but then for any other n, we could use this right over here. And if we want to simplify this, well we can add these two fractions. We can add these two fractions by having a common denominator. So let's see, if we multiply the numerator and denominator here times n plus nine, we are going to get, so this is equal to n plus one times n plus nine over n plus 10 times n plus nine. And from that, we are going to subtract, let's multiply the numerator and the denominator here by n plus 10. So we have n times n plus 10 over n plus nine times n plus 10. n plus nine times n plus 10. And what does that give us? So let's see, if we simplify up here, we're gonna have, this is n squared plus 10n plus nine, that's that. And then this right over here is n squared plus, oh, oh, this is n squared plus 10n. Let me do it in that red color. So this is n squared plus 10n, and remember we're gonna subtract this. And so, and we are close to deserving a drum roll. a sub n is going to be equal to, our denominator right over here is n plus nine times n plus 10. And we're gonna subtract the red stuff from the blue stuff. So you subtract an n squared from an n squared, those cancel out. Subtract a 10n from a 10n, those cancel out. And you're just left with that blue nine. So there you have it. We have expressed, we've written a rule for a sub n for n greater than one.